Hi everyone, I'm Susanna. Welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday Bits and Tips, and today is Hamanaka Ami Ami Review, and this is technical review of tools through former automotive experience. Okay, so first of all, uh, I have some uh, note of the printed note. So if you're interested uh, interest in to reading this note, please uh, come visit my online store and please be my member and please download or uh, uh, please download this pattern from the page. So I, I linked below in my description box below. So please check later. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's start. The first of all, please note that there are genuine products and copies. So there are genuine and copies that looks so very similar. So you may misunderstand. But I'm I'm going to uh, tell you how to tell the difference between an official product and a copy. There are three points. The first one is price. The Hamanaka this set is about cost cost about uh, twenty five dollars for a set, and copies is up about uh, ten dollars for a set. So the price are different. So please look at the price. And next. Is difference in tips. The Hamanaka tips are very beautiful and very smooth and well formed. And I have some, I have a set of, you know, the copies that is uh, the no brand double foot and without grip. So this is not a copy, actual copy. But look at this. I think you can recognize how different the tips is different. The first, the tip shape is different. You know, you can see the line here. It's it's not. The Hamanaka doesn't have this kind of line here, and also the top is smooth, some smooth and some rounded and some pointy. So the copy one has you know, not, uh, copy product is round tip, and un unevenly finished, and not uniformly shaped like this and they show the photo so please uh you know zoom zoom in and please check the tips so when you check the tips you can recognize how different it is so the round tip or square tip or flat tip or pointy tip they are not uniformly shaped and also unevenly finished so the shape of the finishing is very rough, quite rough, but genuine, <coughs> excuse me, genuine is very smooth. And if after purchase, you can recognize as well, the difference in comfort of use. Hamanaka has good young clips and release for crisp and crochet fix. So when you crochet with Hamanaka fix, you may feel like a click, 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 click or suck, 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 suck like that. You can, you can close it like that. Maybe you can hear the sounds like click, 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 click like that. But copies are hard to put in stitches because of the, some uh, rounder of flat stop. And when you, when you come pull up a loop snagging on return because they are finished are rough. So this is the difference, okay? Okay, so next. Next, next topic is pros and cons of Hamanaka. So let's talk about that. All right, let me talk about pros. And uh, Hamanaka has five sizes and pick the green one. Okay, so this is 7.5 and 9. This is quite a layer in Japan in the set. So number 7.5 and number 9 are built into the set. What is number? Yeah. Let me talk about the cones, about the size later. And also can be purchased in individually. So if you are interested in Hamanaka, please try one. And if you like it, please try, uh, please buy the rest of them. <coughs> and 10 different sizes in a set of five. So these five crochet hook has two ends and 10 sides so that you can crochet most things. And also 
the shape of the tip is similar to that of the tulip. The tip is very similar. But compared to tulip edema, the price is half that of the tulip. So if you buy these 10 sizes, you the tulip costs double. And gripped for less fatigue. So they'll a grip for less fatigue. And also shaft is short. And smaller size is also the same shaft length, but for the smaller size have a steps. Can you see that? Here is a step. So here, you can see here is a line. This is the step of the line. So have the step so that you can stop at the step or grip. So you can stop at the step or grip, grip here. We, this has no step, but you can stop at the grip which makes it easier to get a good crochet uh, gauge or tension. So you can very beautiful crochet pattern with this step or short clip. Here is the step. The, and uh, also let's compare tulip. The pen is very close, but when you touch, tulip is much, much smoother than the hamanaka. Uh, the paint may be different, but it doesn't slide as much as the tulip. So you can close it exactly as you move your hand. So in my opinion, the Hamanaka can close it that exactly as I move. But tulip, they, they are close it more than I move. They are so glidy. So move too, moves too smooth. So when I pull up a loop, it goes up higher than I expected, but Hamanaka will move that you move so that you you can cross it as you expect it. The next point. Okay, look at this or oh, top, the tip. This is tulip and this is Hamanaka. I look at the tip shape. Look at the neck. Tulip has no oh, slim neck, but Hamanaka has a slimmer neck here. The bottom of the thick part of the larger size suddenly becomes thicker and easier to stop. So here is, and also, when you look at the from the back, you can see the tip from the back, but we don't see any other tulip. So the neck is much, much slimmer than tulip, as you can see here. Here is much, much, much slimmer. And point to back is here. So it means you, this hook will catch the yarn tightly. So making it harder to loosen the closest stitch this slim neck this that, that's why you can crochet as you move i guess but oh uh, i'm not sure because i just guessing and the triangular clip this tamanaka has triangular clip and recommended by kumon you know kumon is the you know the for the study study a uh, private school something or uh, after school so the kumon is the way of or uh, the teaching way of study and kumon recommends the, this triangular clip for the children for fast starting uh fast st starting study the kumon or uh, uh, the triangular clip allows anyone to hold the pen correctly that's why kumon recommend the triangular clip so that hamanaka does the Hamanaka has triangular grip, so everyone grip correctly, even they are totally absolute beginners. And this is a plus. And let me talk about the cones. Okay, the first cones. 
as I mentioned, there are numbers, but no millimeter size or no uh, cross reference size like this. So this is the chart of the size, so you can screenshot to keep your uh, reference. So this is Japanese uh, manufacturer, so please look at Japanese size. And as I mentioned, 7.5 and 9. The 7.5 is 4.5 and US 7. And 9 is 5.5 and US I 9. So this is the size. But without this chart, you may not know which millimeter hook it is. So this is the chart. It's, this is the most important chart on this video. This is the most important scene on this video. So please screenshot this. So this, they are just only numbers, no millimeters that is making it unfriendly to overseas users and beginners. And also, short shaft makes it difficult to crochet, lift stitches, puff stitches, and a Tunisian crochet. So compared to this, this can use until this point, or this can use until this point, but this can use until this point is much, much shorter than you expect, right? So it's like this. So if you need some stitches longer shaft, it is not suitable for Hamanaka. And uh, this is also designed for people who hold like a pen. So if you hold it like a knife and you have a uh, larger hands like mine, I, I'm not actually larger hands, but even still, so this is, you know, the hook on the other side of your hand hurts when it hits you, hits to my palm. So my palm will hurt. So if you hold it like a knife and have a larger hands, the hook on the other side of your hand hurts when it hits your palm. And also this is double hook end. Double hook end makes it easy to snag fabric of yarn in the back of the and damage it if you are not careful. So when you crochet and sometimes you may snag the yarn or fabric so it that damage it so please be careful to use and the next is the neck under the hook at the tip is shaped different or differently from right and left and also the grip has when they uh, so there are a grip line here this is for the thumb and this is the pointer and this is the shaft and this is the tip tip face here face front and if you hold like this with the left hand tip on top not face in front so to make this here is no grip line here so this might be for the light-handed people i'm not sure i have to make make sure but i guess that And also the tip of the back big part of the hook here is quite sharp. So you can't get the yarn out of the beak while crocheting. So when you coming back or pulling up the loop, it might you know snag something. So this is the cones. There are cones. Okay, so the lastly let's talk about Fuhama Nakamiyami is suitable. In conclusion, who Hamanaka Miami is suitable for people who have difficulty with loose and tidy crochet stitches. So this is short shaft on larger size and this is uh, there is a step on the smaller size so that you can keep your tension nice and tidy. So people who have difficulty with loose and tidy crochet stitches, I recommend Hamanaka Amiyami. Also, people who have small hands, so when you close it like a knife, the tip, the other side of tip end will come coming out from their palm, so that it won't hurt your palm. So those who people who have small hands or people who hold it like a pen, that is suitable. 
and also people who crochet a lot of simple crochet stitches like a single crochet half double crochet and double crochet because they have short shaft so you can make beautiful nice tidy stitches with this hamanaka ami ami also for those who are minimalist minimalist these only five crochet foot can use as 10 sizes so you can keep the space and you don't need much space to keep the crochet fix like mine I, I keep my crochet foot in this basket so it's so you know large space I don't like that so if you are minimalist Hamanaka Ami Ami is very suitable for those who like that and also people who don't like heavy tools this is not so heavy much so this is also good for the people, those who love not heavy tool. And also those who beginners. This is, I think this is developed for beginners. So I think if you are beginners, I recommend Hamanaka Ami Ami as, and also uh, for the beginners, I recommend Crochet Clover Amu. This is also developed for beginners. And you can use for years, even after experience, you can enjoy this crochet fig and this as well. So, this is my topic of Hamanaka Ami Ami. How was it, you love? I hope you get make a sense something from this my video and some inspirations. I hope that. And if you have any questions and comments, please write down below in my comment section. And also, if you uh, want to read my this note please come visit my store and download this button this uh this note okay thank you very much for watching till the end and i hope you enjoy this video and i hope you see in my next video thank you very much and see you in my next video bye bye